Hello everyone, would like to welcome you to yet another very informative topic that I, your show host Rags, has picked up for our discussion today. Stay with us to know everything about children's mental health, what it is and why it matters. Mental health is the way children think and feel about themselves and the world around them. It affects how children cope with life's challenges and stresses. Good mental health is an important part of healthy child development. Did you know that eco-anxiety is for real and growing and young people are particularly affected by this? I'm waiting to share with you all about this. Recent international survey of climate anxiety in young people aged from 16 to 25 showed that the psychological burdens of climate crisis were profoundly affecting huge numbers of these young people around the world. Our global leaders were called on to recognize the challenges ahead, the need to act now, and the commitment necessary to create a path to a happier and a healthier future, leaving no one behind. Sharing her views and thoughts with us, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our guest speaker for this episode and to share everything about children's mental health overall. Here's Sandy Zanella, a mindful mommy. Sandy, welcome to our show and thanks for coming by. Thank you so much, Rags. I'm very honored to be here. Thank you for the space and I'm grateful. Ah, amazing. So Sandy, Please share a little bit about yourself, your journey as a yogi mommy, and about the book that you have written already. Yeah, so I am a mom of two, and I am a physician by training, and that passion of helping others is what guided me to move, shift into yoga and helping kids with mental health and mindfulness, and that brought me to write my book, Happy Amazing. Yogis. And Amazing. My mission is to, to help kids um, thrive. What a fabulous mission that is, Sandy. So Sandy, what are the basics of a child's good mental health? So I would say first talking about mental health, that it's important what you're doing. And thank you so much for raising awareness and talking about this topic because it's so important, just like physical sure. health, mental health, especially with our kids. So um, I would say the first one, love unconditionally our kids because it's important to show them that we love them no matter what, even when they do mistakes, because it's okay, we all fail, we, we all do all mistakes. Do. Yes. And love them when they're sad, when they're angry, when they're mad. And that doesn't mean that we're being permissive. That just means that we are with them, we're creating a safe space with them. Right. So the, an example would be, if my kid does something that um, a mistake or, or he is angry, sure. Sure. I'm gonna tell him, it's okay to be mad, I'm not gonna let you hit or bite or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Here's a pillow that you can use. How interesting. So, so How that, interesting. Yeah, wow. so okay. so that I'm giving them giving him the tool to to take that anger away. To went it out. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So limits, kids try with limits. And this is very important. Showing love is showing limits because kids they test our boundaries by because they need that guidance from us. So that's the difference between loving our kids right. and, and permissive. Like you're going to give them the limits they need to thrive and to grow. Right. What a fabulous thing to learn from you, Sandy. <laughs> so viewers, here it is from my next question. It was show them love, but show them that with limits. Right. Uh, so Sandy, is mental health more important than academics nowadays? <laughs> the ouch question yes. for parents. <laughs> I'm going to say yes, especially now. Like, I think, yes, we need both yeah. and we need that balance. But it's like, for example, you or me, if we go to work and we have this anxiety, we're thinking about paying bills or whatever, right. we're not going to function right. well. So it's the same with kids. Sometimes we think, oh, kids, they don't get stressed. They do. They, they do. change schools. They sure. suffer bullying. So all these things that they go mm. through, it's important to start with the, with the basics, which is mental health, so they can thrive, they can focus, they can concentrate and perform in the in the school. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad I asked you that question actually, and you even spoke about bullying. Well done, Sandy. Um, so how can parents help their children build resilience? Um, how can we do that? Yeah. So. Um, 
Resilience is uh, it's something, it's a skill that we learn. Okay. So it's important that we show our kids how to how to thrive. Like it's it's the way we bounce back from from a change or something that we've been through, trauma or whatever. So for our kids, it's important to understand first of all, like being the connection we have with them. As I was talking before, like yes, that, that yes. love that we're going to show them um, that they're safe. It's safe for them to come when they have a problem, not with the, the other friend that maybe they're going to advise them in a the wrong way. Right. So they're safe to come with us. Then we're going to help them in a way, for example, the coping skills that are going to work for me, I'm going to show them to them, like breathing exercises, like um, meditating, even kids from three years old, they can start meditating. I've seen that yes. on your blog, actually, pretty much. You are encouraging children to come out there and do these exercises. Yeah, because they can, I mean, they're not going to sit for 10 minutes, but even sure. if it's 10 seconds, one second if you want, they are growing up thinking that this is a tool I need to thrive when I'm an adult to navigate life when I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be an fab, adult. Fab, 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 Sandy. So Sandy, what can parents do to help their children to cultivate a positive inner voice? So I'm going to start that with a beautiful quote by Peggy O'Mara. It's the way we talk to our children becomes their inner voice. So I think it is very important to talk to them in a nice way, in a gentle way. Sometimes we tend to say, or talk to our kids like, you're lazy or you're a mess. And they grow up thinking right. and they will become that, what we tell them. So the first thing is to really talk to them in a very kind way so they can be kind to themselves as well. Yeah, I'm almost choking when you're <laughs> saying about this because I find myself doing this a lot with my children. Keeping that in mind yes. from now on, Sandy. This is a promise that I'm doing on TV. I'm <laughs> yes. making and this you're promise on see TV. The, the... Yeah, fab. So are kids really able to meditate? You know, you and I were talking about this. What would you suggest parents do to help their children promote this particular practice? Yeah, kids can meditate from two years old till grown-ups. And the best way is to show them ourselves. Okay. Sitting and meditating ourselves and eventually they will, they're going to see us and they were going to sit down with us. Maybe probably the, the beginning they're going to jump on our backs. <laughs> it's okay. And we're, we can ask them. We can get a book or put a TV show and, you know, little by little bringing them to this practice. And they will do like that's what I do with my kids and never do it as a punishment. Like go. We have a corner and we call it mindful corner and mindful uh, corner yeah. now and that's have, very interesting <laughs> yeah so we have books there we have tools for breathing and printables so that's the that's where they can go even when they're happy because sure. you can go and relax when yeah. they're happy so never as a punishment like go meditate so no something. naughty corners exactly <laughs> no naughty corners naughty no. corners ruled out mindful <laughs> corners ring them yes, in the new. <laughs> fabulous now, leaps and bounds of progress has been made when it comes to talking about mental health. But are we overlooking something here? How can we talk to our youth about mental health? Yes, I think even some cultures, like for example, I'm Mexican and we are taught to brush it off. Right. Keep going, man it up, you know. So man it, it up. Yeah, so it is very important to teach our kids that it's okay. We talk about our mental health. We do this. If mom is going to therapy, talk it like if she's going to the doctor. You know, right. like being being open minded and and normalize that we need mental health. It's okay. Feelings, emotions, sensations. In mindful parenting, we talk about a lot of sensations. Like I'm feeling angry. What are my sensations? Mm. My palms are sweaty. Right. My cheeks are red. My heart is racing. And so that you can ask them and the next time they're mad, they're going to be more mindful of their, their sensations. And next time they get angry, they're going to be able to pause right before they throw everything because they're going to feel their, their sensations. They're going to be like, oh, my heart is racing. Let me stop. Take a mm. deep breath. And then, you know, like. So do you do oh. this only in, um, do you do this even in writing or only like verbally? Do we talk about this practice? Yeah, talking and example, leading by example. Yes, will be that's the what best. I wanted to hear. <laughs> <laughs> but the books, the, the shows, there's a lot of shows on YouTube, sure. you know, apps. At yeah. night I put uh, 
Apple Music, I put right. uh, songs, like meditating right. songs for kids at night for my kids. Yeah. You can find everywhere now. And the viewers have to watch you and me, right? On exactly. Musical. Exactly. Yes, exactly. you have to say it on air. They have to watch Musical TV for this. So, Sandy, do you think the climate change is harming our children's mental health? Absolutely. We Sometimes we don't think about it, but if you yes. see it, like even in um, California, all the fires, we, we moved from there and kids lost their houses. And this is yes. this is affecting them. They they're afraid to go to school because when they they go back, their house not going to be there. Or even watching the news, How hearing devastating. hearing someone the floods uh, everywhere in the world. So of course it's affecting K kids. Listen to us talking about all these changes, nature disasters, and they get scared because it's the world we live in, and it's yeah. scary. They they cannot. Yeah measure what really is yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah. So we have to take care of our climate. Mm -hmm. Whiz a whiz when we're speaking about mental health. Yes. Hmm. Well, a reflection, something for them to reflect on for our viewers today. Sandy, thank you for being a great example of a mental health mentor for all of us. It was a pleasure to host you here today and thank you for your time today. Thank you viewers for tuning in and keeping it. Rags signing out for today. Adios.